على معنى لو سمحت. Play the tourist. Look around you. Act surprised and pleased. Let us avoid the Dahar Jadim if we can. Even the Mossad. Avoid open conflict with them. You will be asked to wait in the security room while I am escorted to Al Hassan's private suite to complete the transaction. You must arm yourself and watch the monitors. When Al Hassan is dead, take out your guards and head to the balcony. I will get Al Hassan's weapons contracts and meet you there. لن تحتاج إلى الانتظار طويلا This mission sucks It's uh, another freaking escort mission um, It reminds me a lot of the Stronghold Catacombs in Seventh Other One because you're pretty much just shooting and protecting an ally and it's lame um, you really need to have decent weapons for this otherwise you're gonna be totally screwed um, I don't really have the weapons you need to do well on this mission but you know we'll see what happens I guess Yeah, it starts off cool. I mean, you, you get to take out four guys all stealth while, oh, blah, blah, all stealthy. And, you know, it's kind of neat, but as soon as that part's over, then it's just a big mess of just random shooting. And, uh, and then you could be 50 minutes into the mission, and then Zohar could screw it all up for you by getting killed just because he does one stupid wrong move and wrecks the entire mission. Ugh. He's just the biggest pain in the ass. Try going over the rail from above. Yeah, get out of my way, douchebag piece of shit. Yeah, I know. Next snap would be easier, but I want to use my knife to get up some knife kills. Yeah, you get kill ratings in this game. Like if you if you get uh, certain amount of kills with certain weapons, you can. Uh, you get rewarded and you unlock more weapons and I'm sure most of you already knew that but it's a pretty cool uh, little concept they they kept it in the in the game or in the series for the next two games as well so um, yeah if you get what is it 200 kills You get the first kill rating, and then, uh... I'm not sure if it's 200 or if it's 300, or... Yeah, I couldn't tell you. I can't remember. All I know is the headshots, you need 200 headshots, then 450 headshots, then 750 headshots, then 1,100 headshots, and you unlock all the headshot weapons. And the knife kills, you need 50 knife kills to get the stiletto. 100 knife kills to get the shuriken. 250 to get the IPCA commando, and then the viral blade is 450. Oh, here's a Scud missile. Um, you could try getting, getting it, but you know you have to do the jump glitch, and you have to be in just the right spot for that. Nah, I'm not, I'm not gonna waste my time with it right now. So, we have. The Jericho, which is perfect. It's a badass pistol, and the range on it is pretty swell. So it's one-shot kill, which is lovely. And then for the really far shots that we need to make, we got this beautiful A300. As long as you have the A300 and the Jericho, you're pretty much golden. You'll be all right to do this mission, and it's and you won't have this mission unlocked without having those guns unlocked so although I gotta say if you want to take your time and rack up 1300 kills and get the final um, kill rating badge combat um, 
combat elite. There we go. Jump glitch complete. Get the combat elite ba elite badge. You'll get the C8 rifle. And it's definitely a preferred gun for this mission, believe me. All that on his own. Yeah. You still have hundred percent? Yeah, you do. Good for you. Nice, good job, Zoe. Zozo. Alright, so now we just get to the random shooting part. Um, just random guys everywhere. What's nice is after you do this mission, you get dual wield. So, I mean, if you're, uh, if you're the kind of person that really cares about their uh, shot and hit ratio and efficiency and all this crap, then dual wield isn't really for you, but uh, I don't really give a shit about that stuff, so... Take these snipers out right now. Okay, one more. It's really hard not to get par on this mission unless you're just goofing around. Because um, Zohar won't move if he's pinned down and you're over in one side of the mission killing a bunch of guys over like here or something and he's over here stuck because there's snipers um, then you know you won't he won't move but um, it's other than that it's pretty impossible not to get far I don't see how you could oh yeah another gun that's compatible with the a300 is the Uzi, and that's all that these guys are using is Uzis. So, right. let's get over here. Is there another guy? Oh, so I got him right on. Oh, he took damage? No way. Wow. I haven't had Zohar take damage in a long time. Yeah, we're going kind of slow here. Just move. Quit telling me what to do, bitch. You don't even need my help. You're actually doing well yourself. That's impressive. He doesn't actually do this well most of the time. So, the fact that he's actually killing people, I'm, uh, I'm satisfied watching that. The guns he's using, in case you're wondering, are the Desert Express 50s, otherwise known as the Falcon in Siphon Filter 3 and the Desert Eagle in every other normal game. Um, yeah, you can actually unlock them at this point in time. If you're just starting this game, unfortunately, you'll never be able to use those guns uh, because you need to play online order to unlock them. You need to complete every objective for the second to last and the very last mission. And the 
very last mission requires you to have a team objective completed, and it's extremely difficult to do by yourself. You need to have a jump glitch completely mastered. So. Alright. Such a badass pistol. I still use this even even when I hit the later ranks. One shot, no matter what. One shot to the leg, dead. One shot to the chest, dead. One shot to the ass, fuck. So dead. Man, you suck. Get out of there if you're gonna take damage, you idiot. Just go, man. Yeah, like this mission is boring, I gotta say. There's there's so many better missions in the game. It's a great game. But this mission just doesn't do anything for me. to say. Uh, sorry, the commentary in this mission is not that great. Because all you gotta do is stand and shoot. At the very end of the mission, there will be a, a team coming in called the Zaharga team. And that team is uh, a bit of a bitch. Because Zohar will probably get killed. Oh, fuck, I hope not. I hope I didn't just jinx myself. Good man. Because I do not want to do this mission again. He's pretty much done. He's still got 80% health, which is alright. Normally he is 100. That's weird. Get going, man. Jesus. So all we need to do is get rid of these last few guys here. And then this Harga team will be up here. There's really no difference between them and the guys that are that we're facing right now. There's nothing. <laughs> Bitch, you hit me. Okay, so now we're at the tough part. So 
just basically you want to stand in one spot and just take them out as they start coming out. There's an unlimited supply of them and for the time being until finally we've taken enough of them out to where our chopper finally gets here and oh, the stupidest objective ever created gets assigned to us and yeah, it's just a bunch of garbage. As long as Zohar stays over here, we're okay. Because if we go over to the left, there's a spot where uh, there's white colored Zaharga teams and they're, they're coming out and they all have shotguns. And Zohar likes to get killed by those guys. So, now you're helping me, thank you. Oh, and he's going left. Terrific. There we go. So we took out all those guys. Nice. Don't get killed now, Zohar. Let's chill. Pretty much good to go. Alright, mission pretty much complete. Good game, guys. You finished the mission in record time. Awesome work. your container. I was not planning to keep it. And here's Al Hassan's weapons contracts. You have photographed them for your own records, I am sure. You must congratulate Logan for me. Very clever man to send you to the palace to steal from Al Hassan while we were busy in town. You can't blame the man after what happened last time. Of course, I was not to blame, eh? But no matter. Let us drink to our success. Until the next time. I look forward to it. I couldn't get close enough to plant a bug, but they changed something. You can see the envelope there. That's definitely Mara. I tried to follow her after the meeting, but she lost me in the marketplace. We've sent a tractor to Bangkok, then Moscow. Trail's cold since then. ID on the man? Young Jun Kim, in Tokyo somewhere. Definitely DPRK. The Japanese Secret Service thinks he has ties to the Yakuza. Leon, you go to Tokyo. Take Amani with you. I want to handle Mara myself. Stone, you're with me. Lawrence, you up to another assignment yet? Of course. Gabe, I don't think that is wise. No choice, we're running out of time. Who do we have that can work with MI6 in Minsk? I've got someone. All right, let's move. Elsa, what have you got? You're back with the DPRK. Those guys used to kidnap Japanese citizens just so their spies could learn the culture better. What, are you my father now? As I recall, it was you who managed to get yourself captured in Belarus. How about you watch your own back? Yeah, yeah, rub it in. I'm sending you to Minsk. Teresa will give you a complete briefing later. Here's your itinerary. You'll be meeting up with an MI6 operative named Maggie Powers. I think you'll like her. 